Howdy folks, welcome to game number two of the AM Dynasty. Let's jump right into the game. I have the Houston Cougars as my opponent at home. Now they are rated worse than I am. Um but they're going to be running the air raid offense. So lots of no huddle passing. So I'm going to have to stay in coverage quite a bit here. I'm going to rock the old school gray pants. And let's get into it. <clears throat> Hi everybody, I'm Brad Nessler and I'm with Kirk Herbstreet here in the booth and we're also joined by our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. Welcome to College Football brought to you by EA Sports on ESPN. Today's game is between the Houston Cougars and the Aggies of Texas A&M. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Let's see what this old Southwest Conference game can bring. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. They'll get the ball here at the 21. First and 10. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. Throws middle of the tight end. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. I gotta switch it up into coverage or something. Zone coverage. Get a little bit of a blitz here. Odom drops back on first yeah. down. Got some Somebody get him. Field. And they finally push him out at the 22. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time the quarterback threw it to a spot and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Man, this guy just continues to impress me every Getting time. Torched by that Kevin Sumlin offense. Come up with big plays. With an injury update, here's Aaron Andrews. Thank you, Brad. When he came to the sidelines, his back was in tremendous pain and has not All right. subsided. It took going to barely to back in later a minute off the Brad, clock. Up to you guys in the booth. All right, so we're, we're like going to go gonna real slow on him. Now. Make sure that defense is nice and tired. This drive will start at the 40. And off, and he's met immediately. Three yard gain by the running back. That'll make it make it second and seven. I'm without my starting running back, so I'm going to have a Roach in as a starter. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. Three yards there on the play. Good pressure from the defense. They brought the heat. There wasn't much room for the running back to work with. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball on the 46. Let's look for a quick pass here. Throws it out right to the running back. Come on, come on. They'll bring him down at the 49 yard line. I gotta go Roach for it here. Picks him up about three yards with the catch. 
So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They put everyone up on the line. Boom. Go down. And the call paid off. Good call to keep it on the ground. You only need a little bit. Go ahead. Get the first down. Good call and good execution. I was, I was a little worried that uh, Nick Perkins, a fullback, wasn't going to be able to pick up that block, but he came in. Came in and got it. It's first and ten. Straight run, nothing going on there. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. It's second and seven. Ball on the 45 yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. This safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. From the 42-yard line, it's third down. Right, I'm looking for the blitz. Maybe the tight end will be open here. Now he's scrambling. Oh my God! Why did I do that? the safety who's in the right place at the right time the quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw i gotta press the wrong button i was looking for b i think man that was a mistake here he just tried to force something that wasn't there We've got a first and ten. Miller gets the carry. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Odom adjusts the play at the line. Glitch. Can we get a sack on him then? Oh my god. I cannot believe that. Superb effort by the receiver to come down. I'm straight up EA trash right here. <laughs> I guess that says something about my defensive line actually. QB's just frozen. And uh you can't even touch him. He has so much time. Yeah, this guy should have gotten him. Look at that crap. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. They're changing the play. Again with a carry. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. And they make the stop at around the 50. Yeah, my pass defense is garbage. Start, getting 100 yards already. Well, the quarterback is making great reads and he's doing a good job of finding his open receiver. Right in the middle, and he meets the defense. Gain of two. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Come on. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. They're going to go for it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And this is what power football is all about, folks. 
Run play, first Come down. on. Makes it to the 34. Terrific uh. run in a crucial spot. The big key was the offensive line giving the ball carrier room to get upfield. Again with a carry. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Kent gets three yards on the carry. Houston is up by a touchdown. Try to change the play. Drops back to pass. Get it, get it, get it. Passes and it's almost picked off. Well, the quarterback's breathing a Come on, Stucky, you got to catch that because one. He got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Third down and they need to get it to the 24. Oh, great. Get him. Come on. Has some daylight. And he's finally shoved out at the three. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. Odom doesn't like what he sees. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. It's second down at their opponent's eight yard line. or two if that it's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. they shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards Odom back to pass come on Under pressure nice intercepted. the linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver boy what a great play. nice catch ward From their own 20 yard line. Let's see if they can get something down. going on offense here. Roach takes the give. Good outside run there. Roach gets six yards on the play. They're about four yards away here on second down. He scrambles. He's rolling left, oh. and he throws it away. The quarterback had a tough time. Throw that one away. Well, with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Brought down the 36-yard line. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. It's first and ten. Straight in the middle and he meets the defense. Roach gets three yards on the carry. close to turning it over but they'll keep possession of the football way to play heads up out there that's just one more reason to play to the whistle a long ways yet to go but at the end of one our score Houston 7 Texas A&M nothing 
Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Ward, back to pass. He wants it all. It's picked off. It's I'm the stop doing whatever it is I'm doing. So bad. Cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. Just embarrassing myself. It's first and ten. Ball Just on the 41. Take the Houston loss and punt the ball. Now they're at midfield. Odom set to go to the air. Makes the grab and he's got the first. Yeah, a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. Odom to the air on first down. Waits till the last moment. Another pick. They're just no, buddy. I was about to say, I was making look at Houston. Was making Houston look like they were Clemson or something. From their own ten yard line, first down. Roach gets the carry. He's taken down right around the 18 yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They're calling an audible. Nice run there. They'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. Roach will try the left side. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Can't beat him off the edge. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 24. Oh my God. I'm not so sure he made the Come best on. decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Yeah. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 24-yard line. Throw to the tight end. And waited like a second or two more. You think the big tight end would be able to absorb oh the hit God. and hang on to the ball, but he couldn't get the job done there. Punt that thing. The offense will take over at the 41. Houston up seven points. Odom drops back to pass. Wide open. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked the perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Odom calls an audible. First down, look at the throw. Gets it to his Jesus. wide receiver, and he's got another one. He's got 100 yards in the game now. If you can get open and hold on to the passes, chances are you're going to have a good game. And that's exactly what this guy has been. I have to score on this drive. Absolutely have to. In my dinosaur offense. They'll set up shop. At the it's not doing a great line. job. First and ten. Give to the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. 
Roach picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball in the misdirection. Please catch that. No. Didn't matter. It was way off. Here's third and three. Are you kidding me? A great tackle right there. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. So they're going to go for it here. This is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. Scrambling around. Oh, he Ooh. Nailed on that one. I was just hold on to that ball and make sure it didn't come out. Times on fourth down, you'll see the ball carrier panic, but not this guy. This is a good job of showing patience and letting the run develop. We've got a first and ten. I should not have to go for a fourth down against Houston. Roach again. Come on. There it is. To the ten, and he will score. Finally, it broke through that secondary. Finally, broke through that secondary. They'll go to work at the thirty one. Nice tip. Second and ten. Odom drops back to pass. It's complete. Oh. Come on. Another. That's all my fault. The 38 yard line. That reception good for seven yards. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Odom adjusts the play at the line. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he hits him hard at the 42 yard line. Houston is up a score. They're changing the play. Run to the outside. They'll get six yards. Odom back to pass. And they make the stop at the 32. It's tearing me apart. I don't know what to do. That defense just sucks. Drops back on first down. As the fullback opened and he dropped it. From the 32 yard line, it's second down. All right. Fires complete over the middle. Six yard pickup. This was a nice little route here by the receiver. He took the ball in nicely and got his team a decent game. Odom back to throw. Completes it across the middle. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time he threw a pick down here. Yeah, let's hope he throws another pick. Kent, it's a ball left side. And they get nice yardage on that run. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. Try to change the play. Odom options out. And they got to him before he could get back to the line.
All right, here we go. Doesn't like what he sees. Third and six. Odom drops back. Of course, he gets it. And, that's set and a face mask. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Looks to pass. Get in. Oh my God. The receiver got it for the touchdown. And for Odom, he's already thrown for three scores. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there. Man. And and they got a fumble. Jeez, man. Ask the coach. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. They'll throw on first down. And the defense is just garbage. Three. Made at about the 25 yard line. Tailback brought down for a loss. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 27. to throw got it but he's gonna lose yards here and they'll lose a yard there they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there Odom drops to throw come on Odom with time you can bend a bit as a defense. Thank God, my pass rush is garbage. Your own territory, you just can't break. So it's fourth down, and the kicker's on to try this 45 yarder. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and it's wide left, no good. So he can't put the ball through the uprights, and this ball will change possessions. So the score is still Houston 21, Texas AM 7. From their own 28 yard right, here we go first down ward doesn't like what he sees he's scrambling knocked out of bounds at the 31 yard line three yards there on the quarterback keeper from their own 31 yard line it's second down Boy, was he I don't know what to do if, if no one's going to catch the ball. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Ward calls an audible. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they tackle him at the 44. That's a very nice, relaxed delivery right there. Even in the face of the blitz, he held his ground and made a perfect toss. That's a big boost. It's first and ten. Let's see what my 65 rated wide receivers can do here. to pass pass is tipped away his receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball so credit the defender for breaking it up 
Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. I'm just scared to throw this ball. Got a receiver and he dropped it. <laughs> Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Pulls it in, and that's nice. a first down. Touchdown! Ooh. Big play! And they had a tough time defending that one. But Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable one on one. That was my great throw by the one decent receiver. Speed by the receiver. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna do some crazy stuff here. They'll go to work at the 13 yard line. Option right. Good outside run there. McDonald gets six yards on the carry. Second down, four yards to go. All right, they're just going to run it out good. Well, we've got a barn burner here, and at the end of the first half, our score, Houston, 21, Texas A&M, 14. And I'm down one touchdown, so when I get the ball back next half, I really got to pick the right plays and make the right catches and everything. Houston will be kicking off, and I hope you're as ready as I am to get the second half underway. Freeman fields it at the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. And this offense needs to continue to produce on the scoreboard because they're still losing this game. They go with a toss. Gets out to around the 38. Good call there as the halfback turned the toss into a nine-yard gain. Second and one coming up here. Nice run to the left there. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. He's scrambling. Oh, that was stupid. Here's a throw and it's Man. almost picked. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Sometimes I don't think about the stuff that I do. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. Roach with a pitch. Nice run to the outside. Four, maybe five yards there on the halfback toss. And we'll take a break while the injured players attended to. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Come on. Over the middle, got his tight end. And down he goes at the 34. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. This is actually a go-to play on like third or fourth down when the defense is looking to blitz. But I can't rely on overs running that route because they're probably going to drop it. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. it out to maybe the 33 yard line they get maybe a yard on the toss from the 33 yard line second down 
Just catch this. Ooh. He's still going. And he's taken down at the 11. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid Nick to Perkins see the with those juke he moves. Every linebacker and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. First down, 11 yards out. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. Pitch is right. And he's tackled at the 9. Wilson comes away with two yards on the carry. From the 9-yard line, it's second down. They're going to pitch it. They'll get him for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. On play action, he'll scramble. And now he's going to run. I was tempted to throw that ball, but... Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And you can feel the intensity and emotion in this stadium. This one has been an amazing battle. Right back to square. I knew as long as that so running lane stayed open for the for, uh, for Bill Ward here, I can make that run more securely. All right, I gotta do something on defense. This drive will start at the 24, first and 10. Throws complete and he's hit right away. They get five yards on the play. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it and they keep moving the defense back. Odom doesn't like what he sees. Six yard line. Odom adjusts the play at the line. Little handoff. Tackle made at the 49 yard line. Throw on. on first down. He Come on, Lambert. Get the pass off. Jesus. Gets it out to him again. And he's tackled at the 22 yard line. And for Odom, that last pass puts him at 300 yards for the game. This young man really works at it. And it's always a he boost to see that hard work. Some kind of pressure on the that QB. He should be very good. They're going to really need this kid to keep pulling through because this still is anyone's ball game. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. That'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. Odom changes the play at the line. And he's taken down right around the eight-yard line. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. It's second down, and they're only seven yards away from the end zone. Hit him. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle, and they make the stop at the five-yard line. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Hit him. They run it for the first, and he stops. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. It's fourth down. And the kicker's on to try this 28-yarder. And he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown.
They'll start at the 36 yard line. It's first and 10. Telling you. Just no point having open receivers if they so just and drop the ball. Roach gets the call. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make This is what I want my offense nice to be. To be able to run for like six or seven yards, eight yards. From their own 48 Every other line. play. It's first down. Caught open field. Right around the 40. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offensive first down. That was a very good looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. He may have changed things up here. Roach gets another carry. He's taken down at the 30 yard line. This power Defense just straight up the gun. Right they might need to change up some of their scheme. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. It's the tailback, and he's tackled after positive yardage. Wilson gains around six yards on the run. It's second down and four to go. Wilson gets another hand off. Uh -oh. And down he goes at the 12. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. First down from the 11-yard line. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Makes nice. Catch and look out. Touchdown, Aggies. There is Perkins. Finally caught a ball. He's caught a couple, but he's dropped some key ones. <clears throat> that was nice. Play action. Freezes the secondary just a little bit. They could have thrown to 45 here, but he would probably would have, got, would have gotten tackled. Now, this is where the magic happens. Now I can keep going up, running towards the A or the M. But the defender here stops. He sees the QB coming up to the line. And now I'm trapped. I probably... Could have run around him because since he stopped, now that I look at it, but he opened that guy up, so it's nice little toss. Thank goodness he caught it. Really don't want to get embarrassed by Houston. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Odom steps back to pass. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's tackled at the 37. He drops back. it out to the right to the halfback. 
Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. This is it. They get three yards on the play. Odom changes the play at the line. Let's run, run get him. Nice run to the left. They're gonna go for he it. kept churning his legs, trying to grind out those last few feet, but the defense just held him. Yeah. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Makes it out to about the 16. They're in the red zone, where last time they came away with only a field goal. Got him. Hands off, and not Didn't much miss a step. As they try to work the left side. Not a lot on that one. Odom steps back to pass. Makes the catch and look out. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Odom set to go to the air. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. He makes it four scoring passes. All the hard work he puts in is... This drive will start at the 35. the call he's taken down at the 38 they get three yards on the play and the defense had great pressure there they blitzed the middle linebacker and there were no holes for the halfback to run through oh my god that was so dumb why did i press that button It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better. I don't even know why I pressed B. It, it wasn't open. <sighs> Game kills you, man. And I can't stop him for crap on defense. First and ten. Well, only a quarter remains, and we've got a tight game with the score. Houston, 31, Texas A&M, 28. From the 47-yard line, second down. Houston holds a field goal lead. Back to pass. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Robinson gets a carry right side. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Odom calls an audible. He launches one for the end zone. That's close. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Houston is up by three. Oh God. They go to the ground and he stops short. The defense was playing the run all the way. And they got it right. Nice work. He gets it up. And he hooked it left. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. Still. That's close. They'll get the ball here at the 28. Go, 
They're going to pitch it. And they make the stop at the 38 yard line. The running back scampers for 10 on the toss. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's tackled at about the 41. He picks up a few with that carry, and it's enough to move the sticks. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. He's on the run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. I'd like to pass the ball a little bit more. But, man, I do stupid stuff when I throw the ball. They're going to pitch it. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Roach gets three yards on the play. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Toss play. Here's an opening. And they push him out at the 21-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it will be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 21 yard line. First down. Ward to the air on first down. Get in there. The marker. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really that would have been nice to have a touchdown pass. Inside the five, one yard to the goal line. They got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Brought down at the one. Not a lot on that one. The defense brought pressure up front and totally overwhelmed the offensive line. That one was doomed from the start. They're crowding the line. And they make the stop at the one yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. We've got third and goal. Ball on the one. Come on. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, and they take the lead. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Poof. Make sure this PAT goes in. to recap what just happened. They'll take over at the 29. Odom back to throw. Stepping up. Finally got a sack on him. He was a sitting duck on that play. And believe me, these defensive players love a sitting duck. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. Almost eked out a yard on that one. They're changing the play. Drops back to pass. Got him. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It was his indecision that led to that sack. He had time to throw, but never pulled the trigger. And eventually, the defense is finally pulling in. through. That's three and out. Nothing going on that series. The sack makes Take this, this punt return. I should be able to run out the clock, assuming I don't get a three and out. He's tackled at the 
the 47-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. So it's make or break time. Who's going to rise to the challenge? Texas A&M is up by four. On the ground with the tailback. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Five yards. Second and five. Ball on the 48. Texas A&M is up four. They'll go with the run once again. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. Follow blockers and sh should be fine. Like the exact same play they ran previously. From the 39 yard line. First down. Ward doesn't like what he sees. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Roach gets about four yards on the play. From the 35 yard line. Second down. it out to about the 26. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Let's keep on Texas running it. Holds a four-point lead. Just under three to go in regulation. Well, they got me that time. And stopped immediately. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Injury report. See exactly who Chris Wilson is. He's not that bad. He's decent at seventy four. He's actually the strongest one. Break tackle is pretty good. It's second and nine. On the run. Come on, he's at the come 20. On. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense calls a timeout. Third down, two to go. Ball on the 19. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Wilson, it's another carry. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all in the field today. They're crowding the line. Power against power. Let's see. Here's the tailback. Touchdown. Oh, that might have just wrapped this thing up. And now they're down by two scores with not a lot of time left. It's going to take a heck of a finish to come back in this one. It's first and ten. Ball on the 19. And now we just got to play okay defense. He's looking and he just chucks it, down and of course he gets it. And he's brought down at the 29-yard line. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Second and ten. Back to pass. He launches one for the end zone. And he's Come got on. a touchdown. What a game this kid's having. He's thrown for five touchdowns. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the crowd in that line of scrimmage. Nope. And they won't get the two. 
we're going to take a look at the drive summary. The hands team comes on the field for this onside kick. Houston. Dude, they cannot the get this onside, onside kick. kick. Nice. I don't drop it. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. You probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's hey, that's really all right. prevalent. But you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. Defense calls a timeout from the 41 yard line. It's second down. Another run. Nice run up the middle. Good pickup. And with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. Just going to keep it on the ground the whole time. They're changing the play. the handoff inside and stopped immediately that run picks up a yard maybe less second down and 10 to go ball on the 36 that's it and so that's gonna do it our final score in this one texas a m 42 houston 37 It's time to bring you the Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, which is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. So this is kind of an example of sad to see this one in because of these guys talk to watch. Texas A&M really had to fight and make some big plays to come out on top in the end. This one was never a gimme. Thanks for being with us for another NCAA Football 11 matchup. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long for Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreit. So, this is kind of an example of the difficulty of NCAA 11. Now, this has a lot to do with me. Probably just not that great at it. But it's different than, like, NCAA 14 where I can run the same play against a powerhouse team uh, as a cupcake team and pretty much get a first down every every single play. So um, I'm still not very good at passing. But I see things that aren't there or I freak out and I just throw it straight to the defense. But look at the team stats here. 37 to 42, obviously, defense is not too involved, but they did come in when they absolutely had to, my, my defense at least. 452 total offense, most of it on the ground. Did have some passing yards at 165. That's okay, you know, for a, a run-heavy team. But, I mean, almost 300 yards... Of just running on the on the ground. Third down conversion was fifty eight percent. Fourth down, I had to go for it twice. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, twice. Hundred percent. Perfect in the in the red zone. Four turnovers again. That turnover margin haunts me like almost every other game so i gotta i gotta do something else but i had three interceptions which is pretty nice two of which were in the end zone and of course i win the time of possession let's check out the player stats bo ward nine of 21 
two and three. Those three interceptions. Those interceptions keep me out of the game. And it makes it a lot closer than it has to be. 42. A lot of that are also drops. Like, I think if, if we don't count the drops, this goes to at least 50%. So, definitely have to recruit better at the receiving positions. Chris Roach did the brunt of the work, but Chris Wilson also coming in at 77 yards. He actually scored two of the touchdowns. That's because he was in the red zone already. And then Bo Ward with some uh, scrambles. Receiving yards. See, most of the yards come off of big plays, right? Two receptions, 15 yards. Two receptions for 64 yards. His average was 32. So... Two pancake blocks for Marvin Robertson. And one each for Coleman and one for Roach. Of course, Kevin Lambert has the most tackles because I played it as him the most. Usually that's what happens. We got uh, Josh Jean, two tackles for loss. Mark Newby, one tackle for loss. And an, an uh, interception, pretty good. Let's take a look at the Houston passing and rushing just for a bit. 32 out of 40, that's totally... Kevin Sumlin numbers. 457, five touchdowns, two interceptions, 80% completion. Wish I could see his rating. And rushing, not the best. Definitely not a rushing team. A pure air raid. Just a preview of next game. We're going to be playing the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Um, a similar rated team like the Houston in the D's. Uh, they're 0-3. So it shouldn't be that much of a handful. I did schedule teams like this where they weren't total cupcake teams. But they do give me a little bit of a challenge and they keep my strength of schedule up to a B, which is what I want where I want to keep it at. Um so Louisiana Tech has played uh US Sam, not sure exactly. I guess Southern Mississippi. Boise and Hawaii, they've lost all three. Um, and I have played UCLA, lost there, and of course I just beat Houston 42-37. And it looks like Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet both predict me as a winner, but we'll see. Now, uh, Louisiana Tech's pass offense is 424, which is... Uh, 103rd, still not very good, but as you can see, I'm uh, even lower at 293, but my rushing offense is currently number 37 in the nation. So, should be a little bit of an interesting game, maybe uh, losing a tech has a chance to bounce back, but I'm going to make sure that they don't. So guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back, and I'll see you guys in the next one.